guys are giving me more Georgia collards. Woohoo! So I have begun mulching this area. This is the area that had the brandywine tomatoes growing in ground last season. And uh, it's beside the collards and um, the mustard. And I think I've got a little bit of uh, Russian kale in there. So anyway, um, this season I am probably going to rake all of this back. This should be bare ground by now. And we'll see if I can't um, either root stout it or something like that. I mean, there's a few weeds that are coming up in the middle. But overall, if you're wondering, these gourds are totally you know, ready to be harvested, even, you know, I haven't gotten up the one that busted open, but, um, they're ready to be harvested, they're light, empty, except for the dried up seeds, I just haven't harvested them yet, because, you know, I've been doing other stuff, there's mouse droppings, there's a mouse out here somewhere, so, um, I need to be vigilant with my seeds, Until I can uh, convince the mouse this isn't a good place. And I'm telling you, um, chili powder and cayenne, oh, the mice can't stand it. They can't stand it. They've been moving from place to place. You can see a few of my um, marigolds starting to come up. Let me see if I can... Yeah, that's a marigold. Um, I've got more kale that's coming up over there and over there. I have re-mulched um, my little walkway here. Now, once I kill all this uh, grass, um, I'm going to try something I have not done before, and I'm just going to take my mulch back up <laughs> and um, take this plastic up because this is not the kind of plastic that um, it's supposed to, like, you know, go into the ground. This is the kind that'll be bad for the environment. So I'm not going to leave it, um, in case you're wondering. This is not the green kind. You can see I've still got, um, weeds over here on this side. But for the most part, the grass and the weeds are dying off. Most of my buckets are ready to have uh, soil in it. I'm just waiting, honestly. I mean, it's 51 degrees right now. I'm waiting for a better time, you know, to plant. We, we're not having any more frost. It's just so cold. So cold. And over here, where I had corn last season, I've got my cardboard and newspaper down, and right now, that's mulch. Um, and once I kill off, you know, the grass and weeds, um, I'm going to put um, some pallet beds out here. Or, um, Ed's been talking about just, you know, because I am going to be breaking down some of those pallets. But I want to show you something. Because um, I have been doing my little deer proofing thing. And this grass in the middle of my stuff is not what I wanted to show you. But um, I've got a few squash that are coming up. And I don't remember if they are butternut squash or if they are um, green zucchini. Anyway, I've got a few squash coming up. Squash, and then you can tell what this is. These are more sugar and snow peas. Oh yeah, this is definitely a zucchini here. It's a zucchini. So I did throw some of those out. And there's a, a little bit of kale and a few flower seeds mixed in amongst my uh, peas. Among the chickweed, you see my thyme. It flowered last week and it's coming back for the third time. Um, so this bucket I've had to constantly um, fertilize and revitalize, but it's coming back. So I'm happy to see it second time's the charm and this wisteria look at it grow so we had started raking it all up and we were getting ready to burn it we really were and i discovered how big some of the mullen 
is in this area and I did not want to burn um, mullein because you know it's got all these great medicinal benefits and it seemed to really love it in this bed because I mean the bed was fertilized it wasn't fertilized for the mullein the mullein I knew it was gonna blow around and be in different places but I honestly thought it would start here because look all that mullein you know from where the seeds just kind of dropped and I assumed it would at least start there before it started blowing all over the yard and most of the seeds ended up here I mean this is really um, if I can keep you know the weeds down it'll become a nice mullein bed and what I'm gonna have to do is catch the the mullein as it flowers and I'll chop the flowers before they become seed and I'll try to keep the seeds down that way that way I can kind of control where the mullein grows that's my plan anyway it might totally backfire <laughs> wouldn't be the first time while I'm out here let me show you the compost So I've been kind of digging in. Yeah, that's some corrugated cardboard, and we should have broken it down more. We didn't. But I've got a marigold growing out of it because it hasn't been turned. Um, there's a couple weeds on the side. Um, but I tested it today and you know, to see just how crumbly and beautiful it could be inside. And it's actually pretty decent. I'm surprised. And I know... But I'm zigzagging you all over the yard. But I forgot to show you. When I was putting these pallets down. And I was about to, you know, I'm going to mulch over the bottom. So the mulch will start kind of decomposing a little bit. And become a bit of a compost bed. Um, maybe in a year. Because the heat is crazy. Could that be? So anyway. There's a chard right there. I did not plant Swiss chard here, but last year there was a mouse before I started treating this with chili powder. There was a mouse here last season, and I think the mouse might have stolen one of my Swiss chard seeds from over there and brought it here. And now there's a Swiss chard, so I decided I'm going to protect that chard and let it get pretty big. We'll see what happens, but I am going to mulch the rest of this, and um, I'm either going to... Uh, do a layer of soil over it or I'm going to go ahead and do pallets like I intended this is where my cucumbers were last year I might put them here again even though they were attacked pretty bad um, it was very difficult to keep up with all the soldier worms but I might try that again over here or I might move them over you know a hair so Ed did all these. I think you guys saw that video where he did all these pallets. This was the lettuce that was in a bucket. And I told you guys it was three years old. And I honestly expected it to die. I didn't even plant it. I literally ripped it out of the bucket and just threw it in this pallet. <laughs> and it survived. It's actually rooted into there now. So that's good. My um, kale, that's... Uh, purple Russian kale back there or red Russian kale it's purple looking and uh, nasturtium they're coming up so woohoo want to see what the peppermint did the other day I saw a skink hanging out on it so it's pretty neat stuff I can tell there's something that shouldn't be here look this uh, Georgia collard tree is getting eaten up so I'm gonna um, probably do a little olive oil instead of neem oil and just kind of you know because I think it's snails and not worms and just kind of um, do that or throw some um, Epsom salt in here if it's snails they're not gonna like the Epsom salt but yeah I really do want a collard tree it's starting to curl though like it's gonna be a cabbage that's weird. That wraps up today's edition of What the Heck is Ernie Doing? 